Hello again guys, this is Scruff with the Fluff and today I'm going to do um, a box review of the Focwolf 190A4 by Zvezda. So this is a 1 in 72 scale model and it's a snap kit but don't let that snap kit fool you. Um, the price is pretty cheap, around 4.5 quid or about 7 euros. So yeah, box art pretty nice. Uh, we've got one of the models inside along with some b in the background of course b something is not included but it would be nice of course so yeah um, the side we've got oh, let me just focus okay we've got Hummer paint and some other company paint I'm not sure which is the second one on the left but yeah if you want to see here it is um, also, it's a 13.8 cm long plane with 34 parts and no, no 0 to 3 onions are not allowed. Also, 2 points, I'm not sure, but yeah. So, yeah. Um, also, here on the side, you can see, oop, let me just focus, okay, uh, what the planes should look like. So, we've got decal 2 and decal 1. That's basically okay. Yeah, on the end, I forgot this. On the back, um, there's a, like a prototype of how the plane itself should look when it's finished, but unpainted, of course, as with all the Zvezda models. So, yeah. so let's see what's in this plane kit thing. So this is all in the plane kit. So. We've got the decals, or I, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, I pronounce the decals. Then, you know, classic warning things, nobody cares. Um, the instruction sheets, A4 paper, and it's folded like a booklet. Um, the transparent sprue, and the bag with two grey plastic sprues. So, I'm going to uh, watch the instructions first, then the uh, plastic, the transparent plastic, and then the decals. So, yeah. so oops, let me just do this. Okay, so um, the instruction sheet is printed in A4 paper. The paper is standard quality, I would say 80 grams per square meter. No classic paper. Um, the instructions themselves, they have a little bit of history, not as much as Revel, I would say. Uh, in, it's not like I would, I would say, Revel has a lot of history on every plane they have in their lineup. Uh, but yeah, you've got two versions, one with, with the landing gear open and one with it closed. So yeah, um, building up, pretty straightforward. Yeah, also, no need of glue for assembly. But it's always helpful to have food. Um, the inside come with a tub, the pilot in a few pieces, which is nice that it included the pilot. Um, I always like that. So here are the instructions. Pretty straightforward, you know, classic one seventy two scale model. So yeah. And the back I'm gonna slow down right here so that you can uh, see so you've got two versions one is in Tunisia in Tunis um, on the Kauizan airfield looks pretty nice all, all of them have the same undercarriage so here is the pain are the paints that are required in this build so, I'm going to build this version and yeah so that's about it from the instructions actually I'm going to move on to the decals right now because I really want to say something uh, that is uh, connected to the paint screen so yeah the decals themselves and just focusing right here are pretty good quality the only problem is that I can't really show it here, but there's that uh, fine 
film all around this decal you know, with hole and if you put uh, gloss varnish it shouldn't be visible too much but if you don't put I'm not sure I want to focus in so that you can see it no you won't be able to see it but yeah the text even the small bits you can see my finger I've got a really small finger but they're actually pretty visible which is really nice so yeah also they they included the decals for the control panel okay also another thing you may note is this now those are swastikas which is a nice touch that I added I usually don't see swastikas in as uh, the models and especially in the stuka I wish the stuka had um, their um, how is it? Uh, the swastika but it doesn't have you know the stukas always had swastikas actually every gem playing if I recall correctly had them so yeah uh, nice touch they added them uh, I noticed actually this fun stuff on a review channel the review channel is German and they cut the swastika pieces out of there so it doesn't exist so yeah pretty fun story there so yeah the decals pretty good quality oh, but okay I just focus in on the swastikas don't seem very quality I'm not sure I might use them I'll see you later so yeah but all, the, all else awesome I like it a lot so yeah let's move on to the plastic pieces so we've got two sprues of gray plastic so I'm gonna go over this sprue first I think it's sprue yeah it's sprue A uh, I should focus by hand uh, let's focus never mind it's sprue A I can read it you can read too okay so yeah sprue A just put the sprue B so yeah from the front um, overall quality I'm really satisfied with Zvezda has really improved their game and the pen lines are visible and the, the the whole model is really nice and crisp in the pilot in a one cent to scale is really nice to model and detailed you can see here I mean this is very small this is compared to my scalpel look at this this is small really small so, yeah. the cockpit itself is in a tub as I said before pretty basic you know, nothing special there but I like it you know for, for a cheap one cent to scale model it's amazing the model the molding is great and just and just uh, will it yeah focus okay this is this is the one the version which you painted on or this is the decal one I'm going to use the deck one because we've got supplied decals so why not so, yeah. um the machine guns ports um yeah pretty detail I like it I like it a lot and of course the tires are detailed as well they come in one piece thank god so yeah. pretty nice detail now the second sprue contains the fuselage the low part of the wings and the bigger parts so, uh, so let's look at the fuselage okay focus defocus did it so yeah as you can see the fuselage fuselage itself is modeled amazing this is i think a 2015 kit and it it shows you know Zvezda really made this model group now not sure what's going on not if is this defected this probably is defected or something uh, but the plastic here doesn't look too healthy or am I just uninformed of the shape of the A4 I'll test it out later but the, the you can see the flash 
on the model it's scaring me a bit but yeah the propeller nicely modeled crisp no flash at all which is amazing the second part of the fuselage same story as the first one amazing molding also the uh, landing gear part the holders great work so yeah all on I'm very satisfied but there's just one thing missing and well there is a um, tub for the pilot cockpit but no detailing I'm not sure if this is going to be visible probably not because of the pilot tub but yeah so yeah I'm going to sum it up now and see you in a sec so yeah uh, the Focal 190A4 it is a must buy the molding is amazing for the price of 4.5 quid it's pretty darn cheap and the, this snap fit you can see the detailing of the plane itself is really great the insides of the plane everything is quality you know for a model that of course the focal 190s are probably arguably the most produced models of all time but this is a kit that is a must buy and i highly suggest it i'm going to probably make videos uh, at the end showing it off um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this review don't forget to like share it with your friends or whatnot and share yeah, stay tuned for more uh, reviews models and whatnot i don't care see you again bye bye